Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to match your desktop and mobile menu bar with Divi. So let me show you how I managed to create this. All you're going to need in today's tutorial is some CSS code. So if you'd like to follow along step by step, I will include the link to the post in the show notes below. Okay, so let's set up our menu. So let's start off by coming over here to Divi and clicking on Theme Customizer. So what you want to do here is to come over here to header and navigation and click on header format and make sure that this is set to default. So for this to work, you need to make sure that you have these, the, the primary menu and this can be created by going to your menu system. So in fact, let me show you quickly how you can add these there. So I'm going to click on save and publish and then I'm going to close out of here. So if you don't have your menu set up already, all you need to do is to come over here to appearance, click on menu and then make sure that you create a menu for that. Okay, so you start off by clicking on create new menu and then give the menu a name, create menu. And then you want to add all your pages to that menu. And then after you've added all your pages to the menu, all you need to do is to create uh, to click on primary menu. So this this will set it up as the main menu. All right, so let's go back to um, our settings. So I'm going to come back here to theme customizer. So what we need to do here is to make some adjustments to our primary menu bar. So what I'm going to do is to come over here to header and navigation, click on primary menu bar. And here we need to make sure the menu height is set to 105. The logo max height is set to 80. And then the text size is set to 20. So let's save here and go to the fixed navigation settings. So let's go back one more time. And then we need to click on fixed navigation settings. So here we need to make sure that our fixed menu height is set to 60 and our text size is set to 20 and then click on save and publish. Okay, so now that we have all our settings set, what we need to do now is to add our CSS code. So I'm going to go back here a few steps and click on additional CSS and this is where we need to start adding our CSS code. Okay, so I've pasted all my CSS code for this tutorial. So what I'm going to do now is to click on save and publish. Okay, so now let's refresh our page and take a look at our navigation. So I'm going to refresh it here. And then we're going to take a look at the different screen sizes. So we're going to start off here with the iPad. And we can see here that our navigation is working. And then if I come over here to our phone device, mobile device, again, we can see that our navigation is working. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new videos. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.